Hello, hope everyone's doing all right. Back in front of the camera once again and uh, about to do a collection video. And uh, yeah, just wanted to say thanks to everyone um, who's tuning in, subscribing and all that really means a lot. Um, yeah, just overwhelmed by everyone's comments and messages and stuff like that. So we're gonna start off on this shelf because I done the severing shelf last time and we're down here and this is Severin and Synapse behind it. But I'm just gonna get through the Severins because I like to keep them at a, a, a nice length. So I'm just gonna take these Synapse stuff off of here because I need I have to find places to put these as well. So I'm gonna start off with my favorite for your height only and Challenger of Tiger. Um, I think it's out of print now, this disc. Uh, if, you've, if you've never seen for your height only, it's a personal favorite, brilliant film. Got the Bollywood Horror, this is volume three. Mahar called the Monster, uh, Turkana, The Dungeon. I know some of these have just been released on Blu ray. Um, unfortunately, I, I bought these pretty much late in the day, and uh, yeah, missing volume one. Now, if anyone's got volume one, they want to swap or something, or give me a well, I might even buy the Blu rays to be honest. Then you've got Virana and then Pirani, Helvana, the, the uh, oh, I can't even read it, my fucking eyes are. I ain't got my spectacles on, but yeah, another classic Bollywood, uh, Bollywood Horror Collection, Volume 2. French Sex Murders. This is the shorter print. The There's an alternate print on the one of the Vinegar Syndrome um, box sets that's slightly different, um, but it's always nice to keep hold of this one. If you're in, in, into your old jellos and stuff, I think that's on Volume 2. That's why I didn't... I, didn't uh, buy the box set because you've got the French Sex Murders and the Girl in two, uh, 2A. My Dear Killer is the uncut version, whereas the old um, Shriek Show release was slightly cut, believe it or not. <clears throat> Mill of the Stone Woman. This is a, a uncut Euro version. This has been released over here. Unfortunately, I didn't pick up the Blu-ray. Just, you know, uh, too little money shall we say you know what i mean but def definitely uh, you know pick up the arrow version um but if you want the alternate cut i think that's also on there but yeah this is the old original version so clonus body horror I, i'm you know i just cl cloned people and doppelgangers are just one of my nightmares and you know as it says clonus where the where the science ends and the nightmare begins you know it's true because you know I've also got the Blu-ray list, Satanica Pandemonium, which is there, which has got two different cuts on it. One's got like a smear on it. It's, it's a really odd print. Um, but yeah, do I do like the film. Di Diabolical Doctor Z, Jess Franco. I prefer Jess's black and white stuff, you know, his his early stuff. And this is this is a cracking one. This is this shows you what Jess Franco can really do. Um you know, and then and then he churns out those sexy sexy films, as I call them. Tango of Perversion, the Greek Collection, Volume One. I'd love to see more Greek films, to be honest. As I like the the obscurities that um, Pete Toombs he he drags up all these little gems like this, this one, and this is the Wife Killer, also known as the Rape Killer. Um, this is the Volume Two. I'm sure they've done more. Of the Greek ones, I just can't keep up with everything to be honest. Girl, Girl in 2A, which is uh, what I've shown you on the Vinegar Syndrome releases. Girl Slays of Morgana Le Fay. Again, just Monda Macabro just released all the gyms on, on DVD. They've done obviously a lot of Blu rays, but I ain't, I ain't got, I just can't keep up with their Blu rays, you know what I mean? Uh, Mendoza. Cracking little flick if you've never seen this. This is a later Greek film. Um, the Greeks, like the Turks, they churned out a lot of stuff. A lot of, lot of little obscurities. You know, I love the old Turkish film. I've got the old Turkish. That's my little Turkish section over there. I've got a lot of bootlegs, though, with Turkish stuff. Um, it's nice to see there's some other companies um, churning out Turkish gear as well. <coughs> Dr. Jekyll and the Werewolf. I think this has just come out on 4K. I might be wrong. 
but this is a cracker. This is the, the this is the old British DVD. Um, yeah, you can't go wrong with Leon Kleminski. You know what I mean? Paul Nashie. Um I, I definitely would upgrade that one. That's that's one I would upgrade. Aswang. A lost classic. <laughs> I think this is still in print. You can still find this pretty easy. This one, but a lot of the um, a lot of the Monday Macabros uh, gone out of print. Don't open till Christmas. I've just upgraded um, this on Blu-ray. I think I think this crack out. Uh, you know, I really like it. Um, I know it's got its fans out there. Satan's Blood, another one that I've got on Blu-ray. I might have, actually have to sell this sell this version. Um, because the Blu-ray is cracking. Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I'll check the documentary out as well. Because I know it's got a good little Spanish documentary on there. This is where you go into the madness. Barry Prima. Devil Sword. Ah, oh, just... you got to love a, a Barry Prima movie. Um, anything that... Alright, not everything. Don't take my word for this. But a lot of Barry Prima is absolute madness. you got this... And then you've got uh, another cracker, the warrior, which is oh, just just love it and just love all that sort of insane stuff. Mystics in Bali. This is uh, a UK uh, disc from Mon the Macabro. Definitely needs to be seen by a lot more from 1981. Just absolutely bonkers. Um, Hopefully this will get a reissue because it needs to be seen by a lot of people. As you see, it's a flying head film and flies off with the intestines attached to it. It's absolutely cracking. Don't Deliver Us From Evil. I hadn't seen this one before, but I really enjoyed it. It's on. Um, it's actually just come out on Blu-ray. So if you want to see this one, two girls, a uh, little bit sleazy as well. And um, yes, yeah, a little cracker that was. Really enjoyed it. Blood Rose. From 1970. Uh, Seven Women for Satan, which I think has just had a reissue. Um, French film. See, Mondo Macabro have done a lot, of, a lot of different stuff. They, they try out all the different madness. This is like a Japanese film, a Nikatsu uh, erotic movie. There was a few of these they'd done. I missed out on the one Watcher in the Attic, I think. I didn't pick up that one. Um, but yeah, Living Corpse. Oh. Dracula in is <laughs> Dracula in Pakistan. <laughs> of course you want to see it. Of course you do. 1967. You know some of these are all over the shop. Um, year wise, <clears throat> Blood of the Virgins. Another little curio that's been reissued i can't remember who's who, who's reissued it in the states but i know it's um had a reissue and i think that was released on something weird back in the day might be wrong uh another franco sinner alucarda this is a little cracker if you've never seen it from 75 uh i'm sure that's had a reissue as well <laughs> Panic Beats, Paul Nashi. I know this is at a reissue, so it's worth picking up the Blu-ray of this if you like your Paul Nashes. Definitely uh, one of my favourite ones of his. We've got Deathless Devil and the Tarkin versus the Viking. Another Turk Turk exploitation. Is it Turk exploitation? Turkey Turkish movies from 70, 71, 72. Uh, it, again, just Turkish madness. I mean, look at the bad guy there. Look at him. <laughs> just you can't go wrong with Turkish films. It's got a giant octopus in it. You just got it's to be seen to be believed. And uh, there's a really good Turkish documentary if you can track it down called "Remake, Rip Off and Export." Um, remake and uh, remake, rip off and something else. I can't remember off the top of my head. Queen of Black Magic from '79. Another one that deserves to be seen. <clears throat> Vampire's Night LG, Leon Kleminski. This is the old uh, pagan, which was uh, part of um, Mondo Macabro. I think this is just had a reissue again, you know, just one that I haven't upgraded. <coughs> 
Lady Terminator. This is a cracker, but um, it's slightly censored. You know, I'm sure um, it's only they've, they've censored it with like these uh, it's hard to, like lightning bolts on 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 the on the nude scenes. I have actually got an uncut print of this on bootleg, but yeah, it's still a cracker. You know, even though it's slightly censored, is is well worth your time. Um, just as it says, amazing violent sex field. It's, it is. It is an absolute cracker. I would show it. It's that good. It's brilliant. Virgins from Hell. This has got a couple of different versions on. And there goes the rest of them. <laughs> nice little film from 87. Utter Madness. I think it's a two-disc set as well, if I remember right. Yeah, I thought it was. I'm sure... Yeah, damn, Destination Jakarta is about all the Indonesian films and stuff. Dangerous Seductress, another favourite of mine from Mondo Macabro. Um, again, slightly censored for some of the nudity. You know, the Indonesian films, are, you, you just got to remember that it, it, does, it doesn't fly down that neck of the woods. Uh, but it's a crack house, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. The Japanese one is uncut. The Killer Must Kill Again, Jalo Classic, as it says. Um, I'm sure Vinegar Syndrome's going to release this. If if they haven't already, I'm pretty certain um, it's got, going to get a reissue. <clears throat> Emmanuel in America, as you know, that's been released on the uh, Central World of Black Emmanuel. Cracking print on there, but this is the limited edition red case one. I'm probably going to get rid of this one. Deserves to go to a home. I've actually got a DVD of this as well. So that's probably going to go on a, on a, on a for sale pile somewhere. Night of the Executioner. This is a full screen um, release, pan and scan. This was at the, at the height when the Sp Spanish um, films was winding down. Cracking little movie. Paul Nashi is kind of like a Death Wish ripoff, but he, he's got like, knives. He throws knives in it. it. I really like it. Sleazy, nasty, um, made in 92. It's, it's a cracker. If you've never seen it, it's a good one. Hunting Ground. All I'm going to say to you about this film, it's a revenge flick, but it's got that one scene, and all I'm going to say is burnt pubic hair. I'm not going to say nothing else. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> Lizard and Woman's Skin, one of Fulci's uh, better films. Um, I think it's it's a great film, even though it's got Alan Jones' fucking quote on there. Oh, just He gets everywhere, doesn't he? It's a cracking movie. Uh and it's got effects by Carlo Rambaldi, who done E.T. special effects. So, a bit of trivia. If you want to see what he used to... The, the special effects um, on the dead dogs was so good that um, it wound up on the on the band list. So, yeah, Carlo Rambaldi, who done E.T., done Fulci's Lizard in a Woman's Skin. But there you go. The Fan, pretty grim little film. Uh, it's nice that um, Mondo Macabro done this. Pete Toombs... Uh, done a cracking job with this one yeah, it's, it's just great <clears throat> Bloodlust aka Mosquito Destrader um, I had an old VCD of this sleazy it's oh, it's just near the knuckle this sleaze dirt bag it's just sucks blood out through like a pipette straw thing it's just out there and um, yeah not for the faint of heart Satanico Pandemonium as I said, got the DVD, so I might, might sell the DVD. Inheritors, really enjoyed this. Um, as it says, a terrifying, important film. Um, it's it's a weird one. It is a strange one, because obviously it deals with the subject of uh, Nazis and, you know, worship of, of, of that sort of thing. It's, it's near the knuckle on many levels, but it is a cracking little watch. Um, made in 83 if you've never seen it it is one of their obscure gems that they picked up it's a, it's a little cracker I tell you and last but not least Queens of Evil and this is the limited edition I got this for free because my mate Johnny Redman um, he runs a website called Love Lock and Load and he done a, a documentary thing this is the documentary I'm going to show you. Array Lovelock. Um, some, this guy went to Italy. This, this was done through Lovelock and Load. And a few film fans, I think it was about 25 of us, all chipped in to have it subtitled and everything. <coughs> I've got Ray Lovelock's autograph. 
unfortunately, he's passed away now. So yeah, that's Lay Ray Lovelock's signature. Uh, and uh, Johnny asked us if they could put the documentary on Queens of Evil. So you see my name crop up in the end credits with a lot of my friends. Um, I'm going to put a link to Johnny Redman's um, site, Love, Lock and Load. It's a message board. Um, he's also called um, Squadron Murley on Facebook. Uh, he does prints of... of um, he does screen printing, prints T-shirts and stuff like that. So please, you know, if you can support him, um, you know, purchase some stuff, please do so. But yeah, Queens of Evil, cracking film. Uh, Ray Lovelock, uh, kind of connected to this. That's why I got it out. And uh, yeah, you see a lot of a lot of old... Uh, this is a numbered limited edition as well. It's a cracking movie as well. If you've never seen it, there you go. That's a limited number there. Got a slip case, so I've got that for free um, because we we donated to that, and they they wanted to put the documentary on there. So that's the Ray Lovelock documentary on there. So yes, my friends, that is it. That's it for um, Mondo Macabro, and uh, yeah, we're going to do all, all of this one behind a lot of a lot of cop stuff there and synapse. So see you in the next video. Take care.